A lot of new details tonight on a lot of problems at the High Spire Fire Department. Not only is the department temporarily shut down, we have learned one of its chiefs faces criminal charges. Daniel Hamburg joins us now with what else he has learned tonight. Daniel. Alicia, the temporary closure of Citizens Fire Company number one in High Spire comes down to a leadership vacuum, and that decision came before the assistant chief found himself in serious trouble with the law. Finding volunteer firefighters is a struggle for High Spire Borough, like it is in many other mid-state departments, but finding good leadership is an even bigger issue. After the previous chief resigned to have a better work and family life, Borough Council President Michael Anderson says it wasn't safe to leave things in the hands of an inexperienced crew. Unrelated, he says, but just days later, criminal charges for harassment and indecent exposure were filed against Assistant Chief Dustin Shenfeld on Monday. He resigned a day later. Both uh, offenses, they appear to be related, so they're, they're troubling, uh, especially if there are people that were involved in the organization, somebody that's in a leadership role. Middletown police filed the indecent exposure charge. They say Shenfell exposed his genitals to a woman he knows. High Spire police filed the harassment charge after investigators say he made unwanted sexual comments and advances to two victims, mostly via text and Snapchat, but some were reported in the workplace. It's got to rise to a pretty high level for it to be criminal harassment, where there's communication that is uh, uh, making somebody feel uh, violated where you know it's of a really raw nature. Borough manager and public safety director Mark Stonebreaker says High Spire is looking to find a leader with more experience, hopefully within a week or so. In the meantime, under mutual aid agreements, surrounding agencies are handling emergency calls in the borough. Shenfeld will be in court for one case in late June and for the second about a month later. And the hearing for the harassment charge will be on July 19th.